Hello, how's it going? So, I want to work on something which will hopefully speed my engine up a little bit. Now I measured this, this laptop is weird. So the results on this laptop will not necessarily be indicative of real performance, but this does make a difference. Here I've got this scene and I did a pretty good job of lumping these vertices together. So currently we've got a single vertex buffer and a single index buffer on those all of these models are stored together but it turns out that we can go even better Vulcan prefers a small number of large allocations this is not new but what is new is that there's some overhead in switching between different allocations so long story short what I'm going to do is create a single buffer which has the vertex and index buffers as sub buffers. I'm just running this right now to get an idea of performance. We've currently got like 580, maybe? Let's say 580, I guess. And let's see if we can shift the needle. So what I'll do is I'll go over to my vertex menagerie. Honestly, it's been a long time since I used this code. And if I look up here, I've got these buffers. I've got a vertex buffer and an index buffer. I'm going to get rid of those individual buffers and just have a single buffer, but I'm also going to keep track of how big those sub buffers are. So I'm going to have two device sizes. I'll have the vertex buffer size and the index buffer size. So then I'll go into the source code. In this bit where we finalize the buffer, we've got this sort of stuff that we're doing. So right at the top, before I do anything, I'll record the size of both of my sub buffers. So I'll have vertex buffer size. What? Oh my goodness. And then I'll have my index buffer size as well. And that will be uint32. Okay, right. So now I'm just reading through and I'm going to have a staging buffer and then the final buffer. And both of these need to be able to hold everything. So the size will be the size of... If we were really adventurous, we could have a single mega buffer, which also stores the textures. But I've heard that textures have different alignment requirements to uh, vertex and index buffers. As you can see, these are both 32-bit elements. They're going to have the same alignment. No issues. So... And might maybe something for future, but it's not an issue at the moment. Okay, all of this is fine. We've got this staging buffer. Now we're going to fill it with vertex stuff. And just to make this a little more readable, I'm going to explicitly set an offset for the memory map. So as you can see here, we have the buffer that we're mapping, the offset into that buffer, and then the size, so how much we want to write. So I'm going to use that offset. And then this bit is just going to be writing the vertex data. So I'm just going to write that much of it. Okay, I'll mem copy into that, making sure to only mem copy the vertex stuff. Okay, and then I'll do this again. Okay, so now my offset will be, whoops, all of those bytes that I just wrote. So now I'm going to not redefine these variables. There we go, just mem copy all the index buffer data. And then I'm going to make the vertex, I'm going to make the buffer. And we can do this actually. We can specify that we want to create a buffer which can be used both as a vertex buffer and an index buffer. Right, so go on ahead, created that buffer, and then we can copy from the staging buffer to the buffer. So then I'm going to just get rid of all of this stuff, right, because we don't need to make a separate index buffer or copy to it or any of that. 
I'm going to destroy the staging buffer and for some reason I wasn't clearing the index buffer but that doesn't make a difference really okay so it goes without saying that in the destructor we only need to worry about destroying that single buffer on our end everything should be looking fine now but then the question is okay this is fine we've created a buffer we've mem copied everything to it how do we use it well if we go to the engine and we go to where is it i think it's in prepare scene if i remember it's been a long time since i've looked at this code here we go prepare scene so see that First up, we bind the vertex buffer, and then we bind the index buffer. And both of these arguments have the possibility to specify an offset. So we just put in the single buffer. Buffer, buffer. Nice. Uh, beginning at the... Be you know what I'm saying. At the beginning of the buffer is the vertex data. Okay, great. Then we'll go ahead and bind that, and we'll bind... We look over here, we have an offset argument. Yeah, so we have our buffer that we're binding and then our device size offset. So the cool thing is we can then look at the vertex menagerie and say, hey, how much, how much of you is vertex data? And that's the offset. So fingers crossed, I haven't made any mistakes. I know that talking and programming are not orthogonal but they're linearly independent okay that's what i like to see so remember before i tentatively said 580 and this is i'll now tentatively say 590 so this has improved performance by a little bit isn't that wild that we went from two buffers to one and that increased performance and I suspect, because my system is weird, that on your system it may have a more pronounced effect. At any rate, this is something that I'm interested in because I'm looking at compute shared array tracing and it's going way slower than it should, and I suspect that it's the number of buffers. But anyway, that will be it for now. I hope you had fun, and I will see you again soon. Bye.